Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we come into this Eucharistic celebration, we face the light of our Lord Jesus Christ that is given into our hearts in the sacrament of baptism. In these times of darkness and trouble, we turn to the light of our life, who is our Lord Jesus Christ, and we believe that he will enlighten our journey in this life. And so to prepare ourselves for this celebration, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for his pardon and strength. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. By your help, we beseech you, Lord, our God, may we walk eagerly in that same charity with which, out of love for the world, your Son handed himself over to death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
one God forever and ever. Amen. Please all be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their fathers, the day I took them by the hand, to lead them forth from the land of Egypt, for they broke my covenant, and I had to show myself their master says the Lord. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will place my law within them and write it upon their hearts. I will be their God and they shall be my people. No longer will they have need to teach their friends and relatives how to know the Lord. All, from least to greatest, shall know me, says the Lord. For I will forgive their evil doing and remember their sin no more. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. Create a clean heart in me, O God. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and the willing spirit sustain in me. I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall return to you. Create a clean heart in me, O God. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. In the days when Christ Jesus was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverence. Son though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And when he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Greeks who had come to worship at the Passover feast came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and asked him, Sir, we would like to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew, 
Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. I am troubled now, yet what should I say? Father, save me from this hour? But it was for this purpose that I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven, I have glorified it and will glorify it again. The crowd there heard it and said it was thunder, but others said an angel had spoken to him. Jesus answered and said, The voice did not come for my sake but for yours. Now is the time of judgment on this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw everyone to myself. He said this, indicating the kind of death he would die. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus <clears throat> Christ. Please all be seated. Our last symbol for our baptismal catechesis is the symbol of light represented by the lighted candle that is given to us in baptism. So, ngayong araw ho ay nakumpleto ninyo ang mga simbolo na ginagamit natin sa binyag. Gagraduate kayo ngayong araw, no? yung mga nakakumpleto nitong mga nakaraang linggo na sumusubaybay sa ating mga misa dito sa Manila Cathedral. And I hope that in all of these symbols, we were able to renew, refresh our baptism as Christians, as Catholics. Sana po yung ginawa natin na bawat linggo ay may isang simbolo na nakatuon tayo, sana ay napanibago ang ating pagtugon sa misyon ng binyag na ibinigay sa atin. And today, the symbol of the lighted candle, the symbol of light given to us in baptism is, I think, very timely, very appropriate as we experience again darkness creeping in parang tamang-tama yung simbolo ng liwanag ngayong araw na ito dahil sa panahon po natin ngayon ay nakikita natin parang unti-unti na naman tayong nababalot ng kadiliman ng problema ng krisis ng sakit na ito Tamang-tama ang simbolo natin ngayon, ang liwanag na binibigay ni Jesus. And in our gospel passage today, we see Jesus being troubled. Si Jesus sa Ebanghelyo ay natakot din nangamba rin bakit dahil sabi doon the hour has come dumating na ang sandali 
parang dumarating din sa buhay ni Jesus ang kadiliman sapagkat darating na ang oras na siya ay pahihirapan sa krus. But surprisingly, my dear brothers and sisters, when the hour has come, what did Jesus say? Did He say, Father, save me from this hour? No. In the hour of darkness, Jesus said, Father, glorify your name. Sa gitna ng pangamba at takot ni Jesus, hindi niya sinabi sa Panginoon, Panginoon, iligtas mo ako mula sa kabiliman na ito. Ano ang sinabi ni Jesus? Panginoon, purihin ang iyong pangalan. Sino sa atin dito ang kaya niyan? <laughs> Kapag dumadaan ka sa problema, di ba ang unang pakiramdam agad natin dahil sa takot natin, Panginoon, iligtas niyo kami dito. Pero si Jesus, kahit na parating na ang oras ng kanyang pagdurusa sa krus, sinabi pa rin niya, Panginoon, papurihan ang iyong pangalan. Father, glorify your name. Paano nga ba nasabi ito ni Jesus? Paano niya, na, paano niya na kayang sabihin na kahit sa gitna ng takot at pangamba, pupurihin pa rin niya ang Panginoon. It is because, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus has the light of God in His heart. Only a person who has God in his heart can say, Praise the Lord, glorify your name, even in the midst of trials and affliction. Ang isang tao na nasa puso niya ang Diyos, nasa puso niya ang liwanag ng Diyos, siya lang ang makapagsasabi, kahit sa gitna ng pagdurusa, kaya niyang sabihin, purihin ang pangalan ng Panginoon. Because He has God in His heart. He has purpose in His life. That is why Jesus said, His life is like a grain of wheat that dies, but when it dies, it bears much fruit. Palibutan man si Jesus ng kadiliman, hindi siya magagapi dahil alam niya na sa puso niya ang liwanag ng Diyos. That is why in our second reading today from the letter to the Hebrews, it is said there that Jesus, even in His time of death, He offered prayers supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death. Kahit nasa krus si Jesus, nakabayubay si Jesus sa krus, kaya pa rin niyang magdasal. Umiiyak na siya, nahihirapan na siya, pero kaya pa rin niyang magdasal sa Diyos dahil alam niyang nakikinig ang Diyos. Kapiling niya ang Panginoon. On the cross, He was still able to pray. He was still able to praise God even if it was loud cries and tears because of pain. Because He knows in His heart, God is there for me. In our first reading today from the book of the prophet Jeremiah, that is the promise of God to the people of Israel. He said, My new covenant is that I will write my laws into your hearts. 
And you do not need to teach people that I am real, that I am the Lord, because they already know, because I am in their hearts. Sabi ng Panginoon sa unang pagbasa, Ako ay mananatili hindi sa labas ninyo, hindi lamang sa loob ng simbahan, ako ay nasa puso ninyo. At kahit dumating ang pagdurusa at paghihirap, hindi kayo mga ngamba sapagkat kapiling ninyo ako, nandyan ako sa inyong mga puso at kalooban. Kaya pala si Jesus, nagtataka ang mga kaaway niya. Aba, eh itong si Jesus, pinahirapan na namin, kinutya na namin, pinatay na namin, nilagay na namin sa krus, pero ano ang lumalabas sa kanyang bibig? Papuri sa Diyos. Ano ang lumalabas sa kanyang bibig? Panalangin at pagdarasal. Nagtataka sila, bakit ba itong Jesus na ito? Pahirapan natin ang pahirapan, hindi natitinag, hindi natutumba, hindi natatalo. Dahil si Jesus, alam niya, ang Diyos nasa kanyang puso. Ang liwanag ng Diyos nasa kanyang kalooban. Palibutan man siya ng kadiliman ng tao, kadiliman ng pagdurusa, kadiliman ng kamatayan, hindi matitinag, mapapatumba si Jesus sapagkat alam niya, naniniwala siyang ang Diyos ay nasa kanyang puso at kalooban. My dear brothers and sisters, after this uh, homily, uh, we will light the candles that uh, we have given you And as we are professing our faith, we are holding the lighted candle. As we are praying the intentions of the prayers of the faithful, we are holding the lighted candle. It is a good reminder to all of us that this candle with light represents the light that we received when we were baptized. Paalala lang ko, no? Hindi lang ko kandila ang tinanggap natin sa binyag. Yan ay simbolo lamang. Sino ang tinanggap natin? Walang iba kundi si Jesus. Ang tunay na liwanag. And when you go home later, uh, Iuuwi naman nila yung kandila, ano? Hindi uh, naman babawiin ito sa kanila, no? <laughs> Later, you will take home the candles. And whenever you feel afraid, whenever you feel that you are worrying, pray and light that candle. And let that candle remind you I have God in my heart. I have the light of Jesus in my heart. Pag uwi po ninyo ay sindihan ninyo ang kandila kapag nagdarasal kayo, kapag natatakot tayo, nangangamba at nag-aalala, hayaan po natin na ang kandila na yan ay magpaalala sa atin. Ang liwanag ng Diyos ay nasa puso ko. Ang Diyos ay nasa kalooban ko. Palibutan man ako ng pangamba at takot, kakampi ko ang Diyos, kapiling ko ang Diyos, at Siya ang magiging liwanag sa gitna ng kadiliman na ating mga pinagdaraanan. Jesus was able to pray. Jesus was able to praise God even in the midst of darkness even in the midst of death because the light of God conquers the darkness. The light of God in His heart defeated the darkness. Panalangin po natin sa misang ito na wa ay magpatuloy na magliwanag ang presensya ng Diyos sa gitna 
ng ating buhay. Amen. Let us all stand Peace and all stand. Uh, let us uh, light our candles. You can pass the light to the one beside you. For those who are uh, joining us through our online masses, uh, you can even light your own candle while, while uh, watching this mass online. And uh, you can also join us uh, in professing our faith and in praying the prayers of the faithful while we are holding these candles to remind us that God has given us this light into our hearts. In baptism, all of us have been enlightened by Christ. Let us walk always as children of light and keep the flame of faith alive in our hearts. When the Lord comes, may we go out to meet Him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. And so together, holding the light of Christ, let us profess our deep faith and trust in Him. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. By dying to self, we are born to eternal life. In that spirit of self-denial and penance, let us now come to our fa Father in prayer. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That all members of the Church may profit richly from the graces that God offers them in their Lenten duties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that the faithful obedience of believers in all nations may attract non-believers to Christ, the source of eternal salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may practice compassion to those in need by giving from our resources. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that this community may shine out as a sign of Christ, lifted up from the earth, drawing all to himself. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That, though the prayers of the apostles Philip and Andrew, the departed may indeed see Jesus face to face. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions, for the intentions offered in this Mass, 
and for people who ask for our prayers. Lord of all creation, hear the prayers we unite with this sacrifice which your Son gave us as his new and eternal covenant. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please all be seated. You may now put out the candles. all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Hear us, Almighty God, and having instilled in your servants the teachings of the Christian faith, graciously purify them by the working of this sacrifice through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work so that the human race may become holy just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your people's offerings and pour out on them the power of your Spirit that they may become 
the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead. And looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you who are our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our Administrator. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours 
forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art who in, in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please all kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall, shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please all stand. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we may always be counted among the members of Christ in whose body and blood we have communion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We would like to thank all those who have joined us in this celebration and for the thousands more who are joining us through this online streaming of our celebration of Mass here at the Manila Cathedral. Be assured that we will continue our ministry of uh, uh, broadcasting these Masses, especially in this time. And we pray that you and your family are safe and well. Let us strictly follow 
the health protocols and let us stay home if we do not have any necessary things to do outside. And we pray continuously to our Lord to protect us with His light and grace. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Bless, O Lord, your people with your light and your protection. May these lighted candles that we will use in our prayers and in our homes may inspire us always to trust you even in the midst of darkness because we believe that your light resides in our hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.